My name's Chris, and I'm part of the team at Spectrum Tuition. If you're preparing for a selective schools exam, one of the most important things you can do is to make sure you're familiar with all the common types of questions that are likely to come up on the test. Today, I will be talking about one of the most common question types that you're likely to have to face. I will also be providing some helpful tips on how to solve it. Today's question is, there are five children in the Brown family. Jesse, Bobby, Sam, Jane, and Peter. Peter is taller than Sam, but shorter than Jesse. Jane is taller than Jesse. Bobby is taller than Sam, but shorter than his three other siblings. Who is the third tallest child? The best way to answer a question like this is to draw a line across your page, ranging from shortest to tallest. Then, Using the information that you've been given, you can figure out where on this line each child's name should be placed. The first piece of information we're given is that Peter is taller than Sam, but shorter than Jesse. So we know that we can put Peter somewhere in the middle. Sam is going to have to be on the shorter side. And Jesse is going to have to be on the other side, taller than Peter. The second piece of information we're given is that Jane is taller than Jesse. So we find Jesse, and we know that to the taller side of her will be Jane. The last piece of information we're given is that Bobby is taller than Sam, but shorter than his three other siblings, Peter, Jesse, and Jane. So we know that Bobby has to be somewhere between Sam and Peter. Like that. The order of our children now, from shortest to tallest, is Sam, Bobby, Peter, Jesse, Jane. Now the question asks us to find the third tallest child. So we count backwards, one, two, three, and we can find out that Peter is the third tallest child. 